When we think of severe weather week, we often think tornado or thunderstorm safety. There is another type of weather that we should prepare for, believe it or not, and Ashley Barracy is here to explain the risk. It might not be something you usually think about when we talk about severe weather, but it has the capability to disrupt our society. I'm talking about space weather, like the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. And while it looks gorgeous, it can also be dangerous. If you haven't noticed between last year and this year, the sun has been a little dramatic. That's because the sun is nearing its peak in the solar cycle. The solar cycle is roughly an 11 year cycle. So on average, every 11 years, the sun goes through this routine where we go from a minimum of activity to a maximum and back down to a minimum. We are in solar maximum. Last year was really a very active year with solar maximum, but it doesn't mean there's activity constantly going on during solar maximum. We Dr. Sean Dahl with NOAA says the sun's magnetic activity is hitting max power, throwing off solar flares and coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, lighting the sky and giving dazzling displays of the northern lights here on Earth. But as increased activity means great news for Aurora chases, it comes with increased risk, and we've seen the effect of strong geomagnetic storms creating havoc here on Earth in the past. In Canada in 1989, there was another CME that arrived here at Earth, and within 90 seconds of that CME arrival, the province, two-thirds of province of Quebec, Canada, went dark because it impacted the electric power immediately, overloaded systems, and they couldn't account for it. And bam, they went out. So for most of the day, millions of people had no power in Canada. And some of this increased activity comes because of the vernal equinox. Right now, the Earth's axis is parallel to the sun, and this causes magnetic fields of Earth and solar winds to line up, increasing changes of aurora borealis. Dr. Dahl says, think of magnets. You take two negative magnets or positive magnets and you try to put them together, they repel, right? You turn one opposite, they connect. Same problem here, it's magnetic energy. Earth's magnetic field is pointed northward. A CME comes along and it's the same direction as Earth. Yeah, we'll get an initial punch, energy will spin up, things will happen, but we won't connect. It won't really drive the responses up. If it turns south or stays south, then we connect. That's when all the driving forces really happen and things can escalate quickly. In case a massive geomagnetic storm hits, Dr. Dahl says be weather ready. Just like you have normal things in your home in case there's some kind of power outage or thing for regular weather events. Same thing when it comes to space weather, because at their worst case, things like a dramatic power outage could happen, although it's quite unlikely. It's just one of those very low risk things, but it's something you have to plan for and be ready for, just like you always should for any power outage. Ashley Barracy, Local 4.